hello hello to all of my beautiful subscribers welcome back to my channel thank you guys for the likes shares comments as well as subscribes i really do appreciate the love and support so we're going to do something different okay this is for aries okay sun moon rising and north node so please only take the messages that resonate we're going to see what your person wants to say or what's going on surrounding your person okay it could be someone from your past or it could be present okay so take it where it resonates do not try to force the messages because you will intuitively know so spirit has angels guys and ancestors please excuse me y'all okay because i messed my hand up okay so I'm okay and I'm fine. But let's see what's going on for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Spirit, guys, angels, guys, ancestors. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, so we have codependency in reverse. So someone is letting go of codependency. Okay, it could be dealing with someone from their past. Or it could just be dealing with anything overall in their life. Friends, family, work, okay. One, one, one on the clock. Black magic in reverse. Okay. Let's get one more for Aries. Altercation. So someone is definitely breaking out of a spell or a spell is breaking. With this altercation, black magic in reverse and codependency is giving me like a spell is broken, Aries. So if someone was in a spell or someone was stuck or feeling like they was under a spell, it is broken, okay? Yeah, we have hidden truth. So the truth is coming out about a person, place, or thing, okay? So someone is stepping into their true authentic self, okay? And by doing that, it's breaking a spell. So let's see what's going on, Aries. Let's see. What's this codependency and reverse spirit got? I never heard this song before. It's called Die Alone, Future and Young Blue, Gunner and Chris Brown, Nine of Cups. Okay. So someone is definitely doing what's best for them because I've seen this Nine of Cups. What's the codependency in reverse? So we have the Four of Swords. So someone has definitely been breaking the spell by doing a lot of meditation. Okay. So someone definitely has been doing <laughs> a lot of meditating. Okay, and by meditating, it would definitely break any black magic or spells that you're under. Okay, because it calls you to be connected to your higher self when you meditate and you go within. Give me more on this codependency in reverse. It's definitely a stop. Someone definitely could have been praying. I wish this band aid stay still. So, someone definitely has been praying. Okay connecting to their higher self meditating okay yeah we have the lovers and six of swords so someone is definitely moving away from it could be a gemini or an air sign gemini Libra, aquarius okay so this person was codependent on the air sign it's breaking okay this person is no longer codependent or under this trance or hypnosis that i'm hearing yeah ten of swords okay What's this codependent? What's the lover's card for Aries? The Emperor. Okay, Aries, you pop on out, Emperor. Yep. So you're definitely focusing on yourself. So by you actually going into a meditative state, it helped you broke. It helped you break this spell that you was under. Okay, you was under black magic in the upright, but it's in reverse. Okay, and with altercation, that gives me like the five of wands or that gives me like the five of swords. It's over. Okay. Give me more of this emperor. Ooh, the queen of swords. Give me more of this emperor. The three of swords in reverse. So someone is definitely healing from a queen of swords, an air sign. So Aries, you could have been dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, that could have been codependent on you. All right, you made the decision to stay with this person or be with this person or give in to this person, Six of Pentacles. And you could have found out that this person was only around you to take advantage of you, to use, mistreat you, and abuse you. Three of Swords in reverse, you're healing from it. Okay, what's this Three of Swords in reverse? The Three of Wands in reverse. 
So you're no longer waiting. You're no longer holding on to that. Okay? You're walking away from it. You could have been delayed because of the heartbreak and the pain and the lies that happened between you and this queen of swords, this air sign, Aries, okay? Because all I see is air energy out here. So you could have been attached to an air sign. Give me more on this queen of swords. The star. Yeah, you're healing from this person. Give me more on this queen of swords. The five of wands. Yep. You're tired of the fussing, the fighting, the disputes, the disagreements, okay? You're tired of having this person have other people going against you, other people trying to fight with you. So this person could have had other people fighting and going against you, okay? But you're healing from that. And that's what caused you to be delayed or stuck and stagnant, yeah, full of cuts. Like you're over the situation. Yeah, nine of pentacles, you could have chose to be single, or want to just focus on yourself. And this Queen of Swords could be mad. So she could be trying to start an argument with you. Because of the simple fact that. You're no longer waiting or holding on to that situation. Like you just don't care or give a fuck. What's this five of wands? The tower in reverse. Yes, yeah, someone is trying to avoid the tower. What's this five of wands? Okay, Spirit. Hold on there. The eight of wands. Yeah, you want to move forward. You're focusing on moving forward and going somewhere else. That's your main focus. But someone doesn't want you to do that. So they're trying to have you at a standstill. They're trying to have you stuck. They want to delay you. Okay? They want to cause all this friction surrounding you. That's the altercation. That's the five of wands. But little do this person know it is breaking. Even if this person is trying to keep you delayed. What's the tower in the rest? Yeah, the six of wands, I'm telling you. I cannot make this up. Even if this person is trying to delay you and try to cause you to not move forward, because it's blockages here, whether it's with other people in your ear trying to get you to stop, trying to not make you move forward or trying to get you to not stand in your power and know what it is that you want to do, you're still moving forward regardless. You're still being <laughs> triumph, Like, you're still triumphing through. These trials and tribulations. That's the eight of wands and the six of wands. Like you're still successfully moving forward regardless what this person got going on with this five of wands energy. You're like this person can bring anybody, can tell anybody, can get anybody to stop me, block me, delay me. I'm still going to fucking move forward because I'm focusing on my healing with the star card. Okay, you've been inspired judgment at the bottom of the deck. You've been you've been inspired to move forward the will of fortune and the devil. Look, they want you to stay in a karmic cycle, but you're walking away from it with the eight of cups. That's what I'm saying. Regardless, if people want to keep you holding on to a toxic cycle, like you got so many people that's trying to sit up here and get you to stay in something that you don't want to be in. That's why once you make your mind up and you like, you know what, I'm going to just move forward. Just move the fuck forward. And I said that in my last reading. Don't tell nobody shit. Just do what the fuck you feel is best for you. And this is confirmation. The six of wands. Confirmation of you moving forward. And confirmation that somebody is not trying to go through this tower. Somebody is trying to avoid this, to this tower at any means necessary because they already know. That they're going to be the ones that's hurt and fucked over at the end of the day. Not you. What's after this? Knight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to rush in and go towards the Queen of Pentacles. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay? You could have been playing mind games with this person. You could have been rejecting this person and ignoring this person. But overall, you knew deep down within that you wanted a long-term commitment with this person. But you could have been the type of person that made excuses to not see the truth, which caused you to not be able to compromise and work with this person. That's why the three of pentacles in reverse. Because somewhere down the line, you was being wishy-washy. You was back and forth because of this lever that you was with, which is this air sign. Okay, it could be a Capricorn. Could be another fire sign. Okay. And that's the truth. 
you made so many excuses to not go towards what you already felt deep down within you that you needed to go towards. Because this person had you as under so much black magic. And now this person is under judgment because they about to go through some real karma for trying to keep you stuck and codependent on them. All because they wanted to control you. They didn't give a fuck about you. They wanted to hurt you. That's why the three swords in reverse. But you're healing with the star card. <clears throat> and then with the three of wands in reverse, it's like this person could continue to try to cause delays and blockages and trying to avoid this tower. But regardless, you're still fucking moving forward. Eight of wands, six of wands. Like, that's why this person needs to just stop what the fuck they doing. Because it's not working. That's why the three of pentacles in reverse. Whatever this person is trying to do to keep you stuck and staying or delayed and causing blockages, okay, altercation, fights, getting other people into y'all issues and what y'all got going on is not working. Because you're to the point to where though you just don't give a fuck. Because you're now seeing that the choice that you have made was the wrong decision. You made a mistake. And you got to face accountability here. Okay? Everyone makes mistakes. Nobody is perfect. But it's it's just a certain extent to where, though, how you're going to continue to keep making those same mistakes over and over and over. And how many times you're going to keep playing victim or blaming other people for what the fuck you chose to do. Because ain't nobody tell you to do this. You chose to do this. You chose to stay stuck to this person that you knew that was codependent on you, that was mistreating you, abusing you, okay? This person was very abusive, very disrespectful. They didn't care about what they said to you out their mouth. They didn't care about how they made you feel. That's why you're healing from this person. If somebody actually loved you, cared for you, and respects you, you won't have to heal from that person. You won't have to cut things off, separate, cut ties, block this person out. This person wouldn't try to stop you from moving towards what you feel is best for you. That's what I'm saying. This person was karmic all the way. They didn't give a fuck about you. And that's point blank period. Sometimes when we go through shit and we deal with people, places, and things, we got to face reality. We got to face the facts. Because by we continuing to keep living in a lie and letting people tell us what the fuck we want to hear, now it's either we're going to continue to live in a fantasy or we're going to continue to focus on what actually matters. Because I can sit up here and tell you whatever the fuck that you want to hear, but I'm not, though. You get what I'm saying? That's why most people don't want to hear the truth. Because they're afraid of accepting the fact that the truth is what the fuck the truth is. That's why we have hidden truth right here. 13, 13, need to, not, need to say more. You are hiding from your true self. It's like, how many how many times we going to keep going through the same shit over and over and over, and all it's doing is causing us burden, stress, and trauma. Causing us to be all over the place. Like, causing us to lose ourselves. Causing us to numb the pain through addictions. Because of the way people treat us. Like, we got to real life pay attention. Why you want to keep going through the same shit over and over and over? If that person is not willing to heal, grow, and evolve their issues and past traumas that they've been through dealing with family, friends, relationships, then there's no point to even sit up here and waste your time on that person. Because they're not going to understand what the fuck you had to go through and experience. Because they're going to be so used to playing the victim and doing the blame game that they're going to feel like everybody is out to get you. No, nobody is out to get shit. You out to get yourself. Because you ain't take time to really evaluate why the fuck you keep letting these people be codependent on you. Everything that this person is doing for you now, you can do for yourself. You just got to be strong minded to know that you can fucking do it and you're capable of doing it. Only reason why people look for other motherfuckers to make them feel good about themselves because they don't feel good about themselves when they're by themselves. When you're alone and you take time to be tapped in and in tune with yourself and you know what it is that you want, then you don't have to look for it in nobody else. 
That's why it's so hard for motherfuckers to actually get into a real relationship or a real connection. Because everybody is fake. Everybody just want to make sure that they better than the next person or they trying to sound good. Like, who the fuck you trying to sound good for? Because if you sit down and talk to these people in your life, half of the time, they not even making fucking sense. 15, 15. You can't even have a decent conversation with these motherfuckers because all they so used to doing is playing the victim. They blaming everybody else for their issues and their problems and what the fuck they going through instead of taking accountability for why the fuck you're going through it over and over time and time again. Like, we got to make sense here. What's the devil, the will of fortune, and judgment? Yeah, seven of wands. Like, you got to be willing to stand up for yourself. The fuck? What's the will of fortune, the devil, and the judgment? Yeah, the food card. Okay? Are you going to keep continuing to be boo-boo boo the fool, whatever they say, pity the fool, whatever the fuck they say? Or you going to actually take that leap of faith? Like, you got to be able to move in life with faith. Like, if you don't have that shit, of course you're going to be able to be consumed by the devil. Because you ain't got no reason or no purpose to move or operate. You just doing whatever the fuck you wanted it. And you think that's you that's doing what the fuck you want to do. No, that's the devil that's doing that shit to you. Because at this point, you're you're able to be used as a vessel and be controlled by the devil. Y'all fucking don't even pay attention to having shit y'all be doing. That's why I said motherfuckers be so pressed to do this and do that and be a part of shit. Like, no. You're only pressed to do this, then the third is because... That's somebody else that's wanting you to do that. That's why I said, who is controlling you here? Are you controlling yourself or is other fucking people? Like, y'all got to make shit make sense here. Stop having other motherfuckers tell you what to do, how to do it, when to do it, why to do it. And you do that shit by yourself. Because you're being controlled. Everything is a control mechanism, the way how we operate on earth. Everything that we fucking do is a form of control. When you wake up, when you go to sleep, when you wash your ass, when you go to work, when you this, that, and the third. It's either if you're telling yourself to do that shit. Because half of the time, we don't have to fucking work a nine to five, like, just to be successful. And motherfuckers don't even know that shit. Because they not in tune and tapped into the universe because they used to being controlled once again. But I'm not about to get deep into it because most motherfuckers is not ready to tap into reality. They still want to live in, I mean, I guess, man-made shit or whatever the case may be. But let me stop talking before they fucking block my motherfucking channel and shit. Okay. Somebody, this person was on and off again with somebody that they was committed to with the Queen of Pentacles or that they was married to. Or that was codependent on them, or that was money hungry, or this person, whatever, whoever, it don't fucking matter. If this person was taking care of that person, or that person was taking care of this person, it don't fucking matter. It was an on and off again situation. This person is finally choosing to walk away from the situation because they're fi they're they're finally realizing that at the end of the day, they're not getting shit out of the situation. Okay, it's just a bunch of sadness, manipulation, sorrow, pain, hurt, and misery. Okay? <clears throat> like, this person, there's no attraction out here. Only thing that's the attraction is the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is very inconsistent. They flighty. They on and off. They in and out your life. They back and forth. They wishy-washy. They're not inconsistent, okay? This I'm going to just say it like that. This person was very inconsistent. Okay? They never got alone. Okay? It was either somebody always wanted to be right or somebody never wanted to be wrong. Take it with the fucking resume. And which made the relationship difficult between these two people. Whether this is you or someone external to you, Aries, Okay? What if you was dealing with a Gemini, an Aries, a Capricorn, a Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, whatever the fuck maybe, or a Scorpio, or an Aquarius, okay? Like, at some point, it's like, <laughs> you're going to continue to stay in the same shit 
that's not going nowhere and be miserable because that's what you are the full cups you're miserable with shit okay it's no excitement it's just you're there just to be there you're so fucking complacent in something that's not even satisfying you or benefiting you because you the one that's doing the most beneficial benefiting or whatever the case may be you benefiting the next person what you getting out of it Nothing but heartache, pain, stress, lies, manipulation, arguments, fights, and shit. And then what y'all do? Okay, y'all make up and y'all have sex. That shit still ain't shit. The fuck? Like, for real now. And motherfuckers think, okay, you fight, you fuss, you argue, and sex is going to make everything up or whatever. I don't fucking know what the fuck is going on. Okay, you mad, you upset, and then you think by having sex is going to make everything better. No, because y'all still not going to like each other, and y'all still not going to give a fuck about each other. When the fuck is people really going to pay attention here? But they think sex, is it, it makes everything better. No, the fuck it don't. It, it just don't. It really don't. Because even after you had sex, you still looking at that motherfucker like... I still don't fucking... St I still can't stand your ass. It's just a moment thing. Like, is y'all... I know they say it's best to live in the moment, but... Half of these people is not living in the moment. I don't wanna... Yeah. No more. Bro, this bad day is blowing me. I'll just take it over. Okay, any last messages for what is going on here? Like, are you going to continue to go through something that's causing you stress, burdens, heartache, pain, abuse, disrespect? That's it. That's on and off. Like, it's like y'all both only tell each other that y'all don't want to be together just because y'all afraid that who's going to leave first. It don't fucking matter who's going to leave the fuck first. If you not feeling the chemistry, the bomb is not there no more, there's no attraction, why the fuck are you still even fighting for something that's a waste of time? Because I don't see no Ace of Cups, no Ace of Wands, no nothing. All I see is five of ones, ten of ones, a bunch of drama. <clears throat> every fucking day, every other day, every other month, or however the fuck y'all want to see it. Like, y'all don't get along. Two of swords. That's why it's out here. It's annoying at this point. Yeah, the hermit. Like, you really got to self-reflect here at this point. You always got to be defensive. You always got to stand your ground. It's like y'all at each other next. Like, y'all don't get tired of that shit. And then it's like one minute y'all break up, somebody say they're going to walk away or somebody threatening somebody that they're going to walk away and they're going to do this, this, that, and the third. Like, when is somebody really just going to fucking stand up and walk the fuck away? Because you're not fooling nobody but yourselves. Like, stop with the games, the fuckery, and the buffoonery. Like, for real. Everybody's so quick to play these mind games. Oh, I'm going to walk away and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and blah, 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 blah. But ain't nobody doing shit. Because you codependent on one another. Y'all afraid of what the fuck this person is going to get into once they leave your ass. Why does it fucking matter? Y'all didn't get along when y'all was fucking together. So why does it matter who the fuck this person get along with when they leave your ass? Like, come on, man. Make it make sense. Stop trying to trap motherfuckers and keep people stuck to you just for your own personal gain. Like, that's some miserable ass shit. The fuck? Okay, you want to fucking leave peace, adios, sarinar, see you whenever, no, never, whatever. I don't even want to see your ass. Because once you gone, you fucking gone. You in the past. Exactly. Dead. Put your ass in a coffin. It's over. It's done. The fuck, fuck is we trying to keep resurrecting something that didn't even work out the first fucking time? Like, what? That's that's some miserable ass shit. If it didn't work out the first fucking time, it's not going to work out the sec, the second, the third, the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth time. It's just not. 
Because all them 10 times you keep trying to put something together or keep something together, you're fucking putting more burdens and baggage onto yourself. More problems to yourself. Like, no. That's it. It's like, don't nobody want to be happy. It's just everybody just want to be comfortable and complacent. Fuck is you settling and being comfortable and complacent and some shit you not happy at? You supposed to always be happy. The fuck? Fuck am I sitting up here being sad, mad, and miserable for you? You tripping. You tripping. Because once a motherfucker not happy, you cannot tell me nine times out of ten they not going around fucking with other motherfuckers. Having one night stands with other people. Or engaging with other people, interacting with other people. You cannot sit up here and tell me if the fuck you not happy at home, what the fuck makes you think? Bruh, I'm just need people to fucking wake the fuck up. Okay, I said it already. Self-reflection. Take a moment to self-reflect. If this person not happy at home, what the fuck makes you think they gonna sit up here and fake be happy when they outside? Not with your ass. No, they gonna be one to fuck around with other people. Behind your back, in your face, around you. I don't give a fuck. We got transformation. Things are changing in your life. That's why the dead card came out here. Like, you gotta be willing to change your perspective. Your perception. Your viewpoint. Okay? Now, don't get me wrong. It's people out here that's loyal you to a fault. Loyal you to a T. Only because they're loyal you because they worked on themselves. They took time to know that the shit that they chasing after is, is a waste of time. And it's like they would do whatever it takes to make sure the person that they are with is happy. Even if it, it's a dispute, a disagreement, it's fights, it's arguments, it's like y'all still come to that agreement of understanding with the two of swords. It's not like somebody saying, oh, well, if you don't want to hear what I got to say, and da 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 yeah, bitch, I ain't got to hear what you got to say, because bitch, you sound stupid as shit. You annoying as fuck. So why should I hear what you got to say? Half of the shit you saying ain't even making sense. Because half of the time, people just be talking out the side of their neck. So why would I sit up here and listen to your ass? Make it make sense. If I'm going to sit up here and listen to you talk out the side of your neck to make me angry, to make me jealous, to make me feel a certain type of way. You sitting up here snitching on yourself. Little do you know, because you telling me about niggas that I ain't even asked your stupid ass about. You telling me a bitch, you telling me about bitches I ain't even asked your stupid ass about. Oh, so every time we get mad, you going to break up a bitch, you going to break up a nigga. That's why niggas and bitches be chasing out the other motherfuckers because y'all bring up shit that don't even fucking matter when y'all argue. Shut the fuck up. If we arguing about this, keep it on that. Don't sit up here and talk about, oh, you worried about your ex or you still this, that, and the third and, and blah, blah, blah. You was just texting this bitch and talking to that bitch. Like, if y'all already came to some form of agreement or understanding, okay, then get up, get the fuck over it. But people don't get over shit. They just hold on to the shit. And they make the shit worse. And then when the argument come about, they bring the same shit that y'all already done hashed out. Like, come on, that shit is annoying. That's what I say. I ain't got time for that shit. You sit up here and bring up something one fucking time about some shit that I don't give a fuck about. I'm going to tell you stupid ass, go be with that person or go talk to that person or go whatever with that person. The fuck you keep bringing us some shit that I don't even give a fuck about. If I told you, your, your ass that I'm not talking to this person no more, you told me, all right, don't talk to this person, don't text this person, this, that, and third. Cool, that's what it is. But every time we get into it, you swear every day and I'm still talking to this person or this, that, and the third, I might as well fucking go talk to that person. That's why I said people be running their own shit away. Like, y'all be pushing shit away yourself. Because every time y'all argue, y'all bring up the shit that y'all already done had an agreement or y'all done hashed out. Like, why y'all keep talking about the same shit? Get over it. Who the fuck cares? The fuck? That's because you jealous of shit. You insecure. So maybe we don't need to be together. 
Because if I'm telling you I'm fucking with you the long way, even if I got niggas that want to talk to me or bitches that want to talk to me, why the fuck are you so in your feelings? Why the fuck are you so upset? Why the fuck are you so mad? As long as I'm not disrespecting you in front of you, in your face, or even behind your back, it shouldn't even fucking matter. But most motherfuckers just disrespectful overall. Like, they don't have no respect. Because they don't have no respect for themselves. So they do whatever the fuck they want to do. Okay? And you do whatever the fuck you want to do. The fuck over there. And you stay the fuck over there. Okay? So, Aries. This is your message. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, as well as subscribe. Peace.